Good morning. Today is pickup day. I am driving right now to go to the arena and pick up my little Mustang. I'm so excited, if you can't tell. I feel like I don't even understand the, um, how big this is because this is a life dream that I've had and it's finally happening. It's just, it hasn't sunken in yet. So I don't even know how different my life is going to be. I don't know. We'll find out, right? My horse is in there. I'm so close. We got half an hour away. I got here early and I'm gonna eat my breakfast and yeah, just get myself ready, so, yay! I would have looked that one right down the end, and that one right there. The one that's facing us, or? This one, and that one, and I don't know why they're still here. This location served as both a pickup for the recent internet adoption, and also an adoption event. Um, so there were a bunch of horses that were available for adoption on this day. These horses that you see right here are all internet adoption horses waiting to be picked up. And these guys are all available for adoption. They're only $25 each. And I actually had my eyes open because I was paying a shipping company to ship my little horse um, home. And for a minimal additional fee, I could bring home a second horse. Now, right away, I was attracted to this beautiful filly with a blaze and three socks. She was so adorable. And then I noticed this gorgeous, dark filly. She was just, everything about her was beautiful, and I loved the size on her as well. Every horse in here is available. There she is. Hi, baby. And there she was, my beautiful bay girl in the middle of the herd. I finally got to see her for the first time. This one right here, yeah, by itself. Hi, baby. After checking in with my girl, I decided to walk around and see what other horses were available for adoption. There were two burros and a bunch of yearlings and two-year-olds that were available. Oh, she is cute. She's available. This was the dark filly that caught my eye initially. And then the one that just kicked out, that was the other filly with the blaze and three socks. You're kind of cute too. You're just a baby. Oh, that's gotta be a yearling. 6214. Yeah, she's a yearling, that you can tell. Now my appointment was for day two of this pickup event. This was a two-day um, event, so what I'm seeing here are the leftovers from um, the adoption, and there wasn't a lot of options. Again, it was all yearlings and two-year-olds. They were all mostly bays, and just some pickings here. Most of the colored horses were from the internet adoption, so they weren't even available. Now, this little Mustang was very friendly, and I'm sure she would make a really fast turnaround. She was comfortable walking right up to the fence and the BLM employee who was helping me told me that she had even been reaching out and touching some of the visitors. I circled back to the pen with the dark filly and the filly with the blaze. They were still favorites of mine, but I wanted to circle back and just make sure that I was looking at all of the horses to make sure I didn't miss anything. The little, the smaller one. Smaller ones available. Is that listed as a? What is that listed as? A brown. A brown. I'm liking that blade, the one with the blaze. Such a cute face. The BLM employees were starting to separate some of these horses here in order to sort out um, the horses and get a couple of them on a trailer to head home. So I was running out of time to make a decision if I wanted to get a second horse and which horse it would be. 
I was so torn and pointed out one of the horses I was interested in to my shipper. She's got, she's got the um, the blaze. Yeah, right here. Red tag. Beautiful face. I walked Hi. to the pens again just to look at all the other horses and make sure that there wasn't anything else I was interested in. It was still between the filly with the blaze and that dark filly. The staff was continuing to separate the horses to load and it was time for me to head over to do paperwork and to pay. Okay, so I'm here at the barn. Here she is. This is my girl. Here to pick her up. Look her. I just finished her paperwork and we're going to load her up in the trailer soon. All right, here's a little surprise. I'm getting a second. I just bought this cute little thing. It was now time to load. This event had a great setup. They had all of these different side corrals and in the center they had a long chute with multiple gates that they could use to separate the horses in order to get the desired one on the trailer. I caught my new baby taking a nap before loading. She is so cute and I have a feeling she's gonna have a lot of little sass to her. It was now time to load my horses onto the trailer. First, the BLM staff started with my yearling. The objective here is to move her into that center chute and it doesn't matter if other horses join her as long as they reduce the herd size and they can continue to separate as they work through this. They reminded me of a school of fish as they flocked together for safety. My yearling is pretty easily identified. You can tell where she is by her three white socks. So right now she's the furthest to the left. That banging you here is another horse in the trailer um, that my Mustangs will be riding on. And they're able to separate the herd so they quickly close the gates. They slowly keep dividing the herd down and one by one they return the horses that are not mine into their corral. And now it's just my baby left. They shoot her into that center aisle and then drive her into this round pen waiting space. And now it's time to separate the two-year-old. I move over so I can get a better view of both of them. Here's my two-year-old going into that center aisle and to the right is my baby. <laughs> she is so funny and shows a little spunk. That same process of separating the horses is occurring here as I try to isolate my two-year-olds from the rest of the horses and then get her in that center aisle. And there they go, they've got her. And then once she's alone in that center aisle, they add her to that waiting space in the round pen area with the yearling. So this is their first time meeting one another and the two-year-old walks right up to the baby and gives her a little sniff, but the yearling's just not all that interested. She's a little bit more curious about what's going on in her surroundings than meeting the other horse. And she finally acknowledges the two-year-old. <laughs> and again, this baby just keeps showing signs of sassiness. She's definitely got some spunk. 
I don't know if you guys just saw that there, but she just um, was raising her upper lip. And it's now time to load them onto the trailer. So they open the gates and send the horses down that center aisle. And from there they can go up into the trailer. There was one other Mustang riding with my horses. Um, they were separated by a divider. And all of these horses were heading to New England. However, my horses were getting dropped off first, so they were loaded last. One of the things I noticed right away was the two-year-old cocking her leg in the trailer. I found this really interesting and I think it's going to be a giveaway of her personality. I think she's going to be a pretty quiet and mellow little horse. And then the horses began their 10-hour ride home. I'll share more about their unloading and a little bit more about them in my next video. Thanks for watching.